Friends, welcome to my workplace at Ranaghat, West Bengal, India. This is a cataract with corneal opacity and dense arcus senilis. And there is probably some scarring at the limbus at various places. Now watch the incision. A vertical groove just posterior to the limbus on the sclera and then advancing horizontally for a distance and then going downwards to enter into the anterior chamber. This is a 2.8 millimeter incision with a steel keratome. Now this is a side port, very small side port on the right side of the main incision. This is an air bubble. I want to stain the anterior capsule nicely in this case so that capsular access becomes easy. And here goes the tripan blue dye underneath this air bubble. If we stain underneath an air bubble, the dye stains the capsule immediately and we need not wait for a long time. So this is uh, some amount of adrenaline so that dilatation of the people becomes little more or at least whatever dilatation has occurred that is maintained. And now the dye is washed out. And now visco 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose is injected into the anterior chamber. There's a small air bubble that may cause some disturbance. This is a side port just posterior to the limbus on the left side. Now I'm going to do capsulorexis. The anti-capsule is incised with a 26 gauge band needle. Now this air bubble may cause some disturbance during rexis. So I inject some visco and remove this air bubble. In this case I could have used some SPMC over the cornea that would have increased the visibility but that was not done. And now I can see the capsule quite clearly and I have done an adequate size rexis of about 5.5 millimeter. Now hydro dissection is done some amount of visco is expressed out and then very gently hydro dissection is done the nucleus is tapped and then the nucleus is rotated some amount of visco in this case I'm going to rotate the nucleus bimanually using two Sinsky hooks that will cause less stress on the jonule both clockwise and anticlockwise rotation has been done and now is the time to introduce the FECO needle. I'm enlarging the incision a little bit, say about making the incision about 3 millimeter 
so that the fecco needle goes easily in the anterior chamber. And now the some superficial lens matter is removed and then this is direct chop to divide the nucleus into several pieces. The nucleus is held firmly at the central area and the chopper is used to divide the nucleus. This free nuclear fragment is being emulsified. Though a large area of the cornea is opaque, there is a significant portion of the cornea which is clear and that is providing enough visibility to do the case quite comfortably. Yes, the nucleus has been managed and now cortical cleanup is to be done. This is a small bit of nucleus which was near the left side port. This small piece of nucleus must be removed first before removing the cortical matter. Yes, it has come out. And now the cortex from all around is being removed by this 23G Simco cannula. And the sub main incision cortex will be removed going through the left side port. Here it is. This is a 23G Simco and it goes through a small side port. Width of this side port is about 1.7 millimeter. And now the antechamber and capsular bag is filled up with visco and this is a hydrophobic acrylic single piece monofocal intraocular lens. It goes in the capsular bag. This is a beautiful lens. This is Technis 1 from Johnson and Johnson. No financial interest, just to inform you what the lens is. And now visco cleaning has to be very good because retained visco can cause increase in intraocular pressure. There can be steamy corneal edema and the patient may be very uncomfortable next day and during the night. So whenever we are using visco we must remove the visco very nicely. We must devote some quality time to remove this. And now this is cleaning by the bimanual irrigation aspiration. First time using the irrigating probe, irrigating the anterior chamber. Going behind the eye wheel, irrigating the. No, I didn't go behind the eye wheel. And this is irrigation and aspiration being used together. 
the capsular bag has been irrigated by Simco so it was not necessary again and now this is a uh, moxifloxacin now the left side port is being closed very nicely the right side port need not be closed because we have not used that side port many times only small instruments have gone through that and doesn't need any hydration now this is the final lavage of the anterior chamber at this time a gentle stream of fluid is directed towards the cornea and visco from corneal endothelium is cleaned now with a cotton tipped Janssen bard integrity of the wounds are checked few drops of moxie is applied over the cornea and the case is concluded thank you very much for your attention hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills please take challenging cases because unless you take new challenges occasionally the surgical career becomes very dull and very boring so to make the professional life exciting take up challenging cases and in that process you will increase your surgical skills